Hello YouTube. Uh, first of all, apologies for not being very active with the post fight breakdowns. Uh, I've been quite busy for a while, but uh, since we've had a cracker of an event, I uh, thought I'd give my quick thoughts on uh, Justin Gaethje versus uh, Edson Barbosa. Now this was a fight between two distinctively different kinds of strikers. Justin Gaethje, being the pressure fighter, loves to roll with the punches, uh, uses, basically using his forehead to block punches, using the bull guard a lot, which is uh, basically putting both his hands on top of his forehead, walking his opponents down, uh, throwing hooks, overhands, body shots, and uh, leg kicks. And we're going to touch a bit more upon, uh, upon his leg kicks in a minute. Well, so Essen Barbosa uh, is more famous for his spinning attacks, spinning back kicks, wheel kicks. He's also got a, a very fast switch kick and some uh, devastating leg kicks. Despite having such devastating accuracy and timing, uh, perhaps Barbosa's most famous flaw is that whilst being pressured, he does not move off the fence very well. And he will often panic circle away from the fence, trying to re-establish his position in the center of the octagon. Uh, we saw this in the Benish Dariush fight, uh, we saw this in, even in the Khabib fight, and it was also present in this fight. Now let's go back to the beginning of this fight uh, and see how Gaethje sets up this KO. Now in the beginning, both men try to establish their leg kicks. Justin Gaethje landed a lot of leg kicks upon Barbosa's lead leg as uh, he was timing Barbosa as he was shifting weight. The theory is that when you time the leg kicks on your opponent as they're coming forward, their weight is on their front leg, and therefore unable to, they're, they're not able to pick up the leg and check the kick, and there's a very good chance of buckling their knee. And the same theory applies for opponents who is pivoting or changing in directions, as they're using both their feet to shift their weight, and therefore not able to check the kick. And yeah, uh, these were the type of leg kicks Gaethje was landing. Meanwhile, Barbosa was looking to land them as he was taking one from Gaethje, so it's sort of going uh, tip for tat. And you could see that they didn't have the same effect as uh, he didn't catch Gaethje shifting weight. He's also got a habit of firing off these really fast switch kicks on the retreat. Which uh, for a fighter that's, that's really depending on creating space and maintaining his opponents on the uh, kicking range. By switch kicking on the retreat, he's essentially uh, leaving himself on one leg, uh, not able to pivot or uh, step off line effectively. In this fight, when Barbosa found himself with his back towards the fence, with uh, Justin Gaethje advancing towards him, he pivoted off towards his left. And I think it was two times he did that, and on the third time, Gaethje timed him with a beautiful right hook as he was exiting the same side that he showed previously before. And uh, you know, one way this could have been better for him is uh, when he's pivoting from the fence, uh, basically fake pivot one way, go the other. Fighters that come into mind uh, think of Dominic Cruz, Think of uh, Israel Adesanya, Eddie Alvarez, even Stipe Miocic. There's, there's a fair few examples of uh, fighters who, who do this constantly along the fence. Nonetheless, uh, what a great performance by Justin Gaethje. That man continues to be a bonus machine. And if you're an MMA fan, you cannot miss this guy's fight. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, I'll be doing some uh, preview guides for the next event, UFC 236. We've got uh, we've got two title fights coming in, so yeah, uh, subscribe and follow me on Instagram as well to uh, to keep an eye out for those. All right, uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time.